If you were to ask what the best weapon class in Elden Ring is, you would get a load of different answers depending on who you ask. But what if I told you that I'm going to end this entire debate today? Because there is one weapon class that dominates the rest completely. And that one weapon class is the torches, baby. There's a total of six torches in the game and I'm gonna be showcasing each and every one of them. So sit back, relax, and uh, get ready for some shenanigans. Okay, for the first of the torches, here I have the torch. As you can see, the Ash of War that you get is torch attack if you don't infuse this weapon. If you do try to infuse this weapon, all you can equip is no skill and the standard affinity so basically it does nothing and sorry to break your heart right off the bat here but sadly there is no power stanced torch move set you can only two hand or one hand these weapons and getting a first look at the torch move set here is the light attack string it is about what you would expect nothing really too exciting the heavy attack string is actually pretty solid then you have the jumping light the jumping heavy the running light and the running heavy then the rolling slash crouching attack and the backstep and as i kind of mentioned earlier torch attack really is not an ash of war in fact it just makes it so you do the uncharged heavy attacks i know it's very very lame martial autist <laughs> hello you got the family heads and the death poker that's interesting i can dig it Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh god, dude, the torch is so slow. <laughs> oh, this is so stupid. Why am I even making this video right now? Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that fat damage. Look at that roll catch potential. Ooh, let's go. Good fight, Martial Autist. Wait, does this talisman even affect the fire damage of this weapon? Because there's no way to increase the fire damage. So is it just static? I don't even know. Are, 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 am I even supposed to be using these weapons right now? I mean, regardless, I don't even think it's worth it. I think I'm just going to go ahead and slap on Millicent's instead. Now, I'm going to get into another fight here. I want to see if I can just roll catch somebody into oblivion. White Mamba, what is up? How you doing? Yeah, that's right. Come here. Come here. Ow. Okay, chill, chill, chill. Come here. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, damn it. Good fight. Okay, so yeah, it's kind of hard to keep up pressure with the torch unless you just spam running heavy attacks. I mean, these are still the greatest weapons of all time though, don't get it twisted. But yeah, that was the torch. There's really nothing unique about it. No cool attacks, no cool ashes of war. And all you have to do to get the torch is head to the Church of Elech and buy it from the merchant for 200 runes. For torch number two, here I have the beast repellent torch. And once again, you are stuck with torch attack. That is unless you wanna equip no skill and standard affinity. So in that regard, it is just like the normal torch however unlike the normal torch this actually has a unique property where if you have this torch out and you are near wolves or dog enemies they will not attack you like here you go see how this little pupper here is looking at me but not actually attacking me oh look now he's running away where are you going, buddy? So yeah, for those dog dense areas of the game, you can whip out the beast repellent torch and have an easy time going through them. Of course, though, we are not here to do PVE. We got to take this bad boy into the arena. All right, what beast am I going to repel? Who is this? G-Spot. Okay, interesting name. Uh, you got spinning chain on a flail. Very... Now listen, I totally understand that torches are a complete meme if they are used as weapons. But I'm telling you right now that there is actually one torch that I'm going to end up using that is kind of broken for one reason. 
But I don't want to get too ahead of myself. Bad at game. Um, hello? Okay. All right, I see. I see what he's doing. Um, actually, no, I don't. Huh. Who is this foul beast? Kevin Katzi. Katzi. Kevin Yahtzee. What's, uh, what's going on here? Can I land critical hits? Oh, uh, no, I can't. I don't think that's, like, a thing. Let's make a deal, though. I set Kevin ablaze, and you click the subscribe. What? Oh, that's not good. Not doing a lot of damage, which is weird. Oh, easy peasy, Kevin. How are you gonna let me do you like that, Kevin? Come on, Kevin. I almost feel like my opponents kinda let their guard down whenever they see me pull out a torch. That or they chainsaw glitch me, which both are valid reactions. But uh, yeah, that is the beast repellent torch. It is basically the exact same as the normal torch. The only difference being that this torch hates animals. And if you wanna use this torch and have PETA at your front doorstep, all you gotta do is head to the isolated merchant and dragon barrow, where you can purchase it for 1200 runes. And for torch number three, here I have the steel wire torch with finally a unique ash of war, fire breather. You get D scaling in strength and B in dex. The moveset is the exact same as the past two torches that we've used. And then fire breather is exactly how it sounds. You just blow flames out of your torch onto the ground, which can do some chip damage. But if you do hit the flames directly on an enemy, it will do damage as well. And I'm starting to think that this Ash of War is not gonna be too bad for duels. A Lavlatron, what is good? Fire Breather. Eh, the damage is kinda bad. The chip damage from the leftover flames wasn't bad though. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, look at that chip damage. Ow. <laughs> Dude, that's so awesome. Ow. Chill on me. Oh, good spacing. Good fight, man. All right, who is this? I just can't win. I don't know, you might be able to. Against, uh, against this little setup that I have going on here. It has not been too successful of a day. You good? You alright? What's going on? Oh, oh wait, I staggered them out of that? What? No way. How does that work? <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh my god, it's so dumb. I'm not gonna lie, using these torches in PvP is torture. You hardly get any damage out of them. This is the first torch that we've seen with a unique Ash of War with Fire Breather. However, in PvE though, I think the Ash of War could be really good for clearing mobs. And if you're ever in a cave, having a torch is just useful. And if you want the steel wire torch, you will need to head to Castle Morn in the Weeping Peninsula. Once you're here, you're going to want to stay on the northern side 
outside of the castle and head to the top level. And eventually you will find a corpse that has the torch on it that is also being guarded by two misbegotten. And for the fourth torch of the day, here we have another one with a pretty cool unique property. This is the Sentry's Torch, and sadly you are stuck with Torch Attack for your Ash of War. You get D scaling in Strength, E in Dex, and C in Faith. And what's cool about this weapon is that it will actually reveal any invisible enemies within your vicinity as long as you have the weapon out. So like right now I'm here in Ordina Liturgical Town and there is a puzzle to solve to get into the Halig Tree. And while you're doing it, there are invisible Black Knife assassins that are really, really annoying to deal with. But if you have this torch, then it makes it very, very easy. And there are other places where this torch can come in handy, but this is just one example. It just sucks that it doesn't have a unique skill, though. If I'm being honest here, this is all just a build up to the final torch. Okay, so he's going to go for that back step, I think. Oh, yeah. Jumping heavy attack. Oh. I want this win so bad. Oh. Oh. Give me it. Give me the win, Pylos. Yeah, that's right, baby. Again, nothing to really say here. I do think that the unique property is really, really cool. 99% of the time, it's only going to be useful in PvE unless you come across somebody who's using like... I don't even know, like, Concealing Veil in Invasions, maybe? I don't even know. I really have no idea where this would even be useful in PvP, but... I mean, you can use it. And the Sentry's Torch can be bought for 7,000 runes from the Hermit Merchant at the Hermit Merchant Shack. Now, these final two torches, I would say, are the best torches. And that is because you get status effects on both of them. The first one that I'm going to show you is the Ghost Flame Torch. You get D scaling in Strength, D in Dex, and C in Intelligence, and 65 Frost to build up a hit. I am sort of disappointed that this does not have a unique Ash of War, but hey, it is what it is. And fun fact, this is the shortest torch out of the entire class. White Mamba, what is good? Got a twin blade, you got a shield, some nice drip, I like it. <laughs> Dude, if only you could get critical hits with torches, that would be so awesome. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Give me that frost proc. Perfect timing just to finish him off. I love it, dude. I swear, having a status effect on a torch brings it from like Z tier to like Y tier. It may not be much, but it does make a difference. But yeah, that was the ghost flame torch. I do find it kind of cool that there is a torch that deals magic damage and can proc frost. Just a solid addition to the torches all around. Now, if you want to get this torch, you have to go to Nokrin Eternal City, but through the meteorite crater that spawns after you defeat Radon. So once you platform your way down and you reach this point, you are going to want to jump onto the roofs. And once you reach this section right here, you need to jump across to this right tower. Uh! Nice. And just go ahead, hop up, then just jump across to this roof. And on this corpse, you will find the Ghost Flame Torch. Now, it is time for the sixth and a final torch of the video. 
and what is by far the best torch in the entire game. This is St. Trina's Torch with its unique Ash of War, Fires of Slumber. As you can see, you get 72 sleep build up a hit, C scaling in faith, D in dex, and D in strength. For all of you guys who don't know, sleep is absurdly broken in PvP, and in some situations, it's really, really solid in PvE, but it's mainly just good in PvP, and that is because whenever you proc sleep on somebody, they go to sleep, which leads to more free damage every single time. But getting a look at the Ash of War, it is exactly like Fire Breather, but instead of actually doing damage, this Ash of War only procs sleep on people. And I think you guys are going to be shocked with how well this actually performs in PvP. That is if you can get hits on people, because there are certain matchups where torches are insanely hard to use. This isn't looking like one of them, though. Hello, Flo? Oh, just out of reach. Yeah, that's right. Oh my god. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm probably just gonna lose this fight, yeah? Mists of Slumber! Or sorry, not mist, it's uh, what, Fires of Slumber? <laughs> hey, good fight, Flo. Also, I like your build, the war pick with Braggart's Roar, I think that was. That was, uh, that was nice. Very, very interesting. Hey, but we gotta get one more solid win just to cap things off. Who is this? Putwuff. Hello, Putwuff. Let's make this a good one. They got to be close to being slept. Oh no! Oh no, they missed the swap. They really missed the swap. That sucks, dude. I probably would have been dead right there. <laughs> hey, hey, good fight, Puff Wuff. Good job carrying those bolluses around. They are very, very important, especially whenever you're dealing with rot, sleep, or madness. And for all of you out there who want to use a torch in PvP, I say look no further than this one. You can use the other ones if you feel like goofing around, but if you somewhat want to get results, I would go ahead and use the St. Trinas. And yeah, those were the six Elden Ring torches in action, in full effect, live and direct. I think in today's PvP, they are pretty much useless just because you are going to get outranged, outpaced, just outclassed by pretty much every other weapon class. At the end of the day, torches are more so tools than they are weapons. Oh yeah, and I know the torch pole is technically a torch, but it is also a spear. So if you want to see that in action, make sure you go check out my last video. But go ahead and comment down below what your favorite or least favorite torch is. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like. And if you'd like to see more content in the future, make sure that you hit that subscribe and that noti bell. Thank you guys for all your support. Thank you so much for watching here today. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video.